I was talking to my buddy and uh, I told him about the incident. So he said, hey, hack him back. So I... Hey, welcome back folks. Welcome to this week's Quitna, questions that need answers. So in this week's video, we'll go over some different attacks that hackers may use to bypass technologies and get into your internal network. Okay, so let's take a look at the question. Now, a quick uh, term to know before we go into the actual answer choices is IDS. So it stands for Intrusion Detection System. And essentially it's a device that tries to make sure that no unauthorized uh, individuals gain access into your internal network. Okay? So let's look at answer choice A, DLL injection. Well, DLL injection or dynamic link library injection really has to do with programs and the different codes uh, that are used. And so since we're dealing with malicious code in the answer choice, it doesn't really have anything to do with the IDS. All right, now let's look at B, stateful inf inspection. Well, stateful inspection is actually a method that different firewalls can use, or it's a type of firewall. Uh, so it's actually a security technology meant to help you. So we know this is not a right choice. Cross-site request forgery uh, deals with a lot of times when victims are accessing their financial institutions, such as banks. And so the attackers or the hackers take advantage of that and make requests on behalf or as if they were the uh, victim. So that really doesn't have anything to do with IDS. And that leaves us with TTL, or time to live attacks. So let me clear off this board real quick and uh, we'll get to it. All right, welcome back. So I populated this board with a little bit of a diagram so we can go through a fast and furious kind of look through what TTL is and how attackers will use this TTL for, to conduct attacks. So TTL is essentially the time to live. So it's a value given to a packet to determine how long or to what distance they can travel to. And then ultimately they're dropped. Okay? So when an attacker is trying to send malicious uh, attacks, right? Uh, data will be sent throughout the network in packets. What an attacker can do is break up these packets into different fragments. So let's take a look at this. Over here the attacker has fragment one, two, and three. And so given a higher TTL, it means the packet or the fragment can go further distances. So they'll send out, an attacker will send out the first fragment with a high TTL value. So the IDS will see it. Okay, it'll get to the router. Okay, then to the victim. Now the, the attacker will send actually the second fragment with a low TTL value and fake data. And they do this for a reason. I'll show you in a little bit. But when they send it out, the IDS will hold on to it, but because it's a low TTL value, it won't make it past the router, so the victim never gets it. However, with the third fragment, again, the attacker will set a high TTL value, and obviously this time using real data, it'll send it to the IDS, and ultimately it'll make it to the victim, right? But because this is fake data, what happens? The IDS will take a look at it, and they'll be, oh, no big deal. And so what happens? The victim still has fragment one and three, but the hacker will actually resend fragment two with a high TTL value. And so the IDS will only start and see the fragment two, where it ultimately sees, along with fragment, oops, and fragment one, which means the trifecta is complete. The victim is, has now been attacked, okay? So this is a quick, fast and furious look at what TTL and TTL attacks are. I hope you were able to take a little bit uh, out of this and maybe you find an interest in learning more about hacking. That wraps it up for this week's Quitna. I look forward to seeing you again next time.